This is LXPN TV, and I'm Colin O'Keefe. Stephen Covey, world-renowned educator, motivational speaker, and best-selling author, passed away last week at the age of 79. Joining me today to explain what lawyers can learn from his teachings, we bring in law firm business development and leadership coach Cordell Parvin, author of the aptly named and excellent Cordell blog. Cordell, you recently wrote a post about what you learned from Stephen Covey. Going back to that, what was the most important thing that you learned from his teachings? Well, when his book, Seven Habits, first came out, I was an early reader. And one of the main points I got out of the book is that to plan our life around our priorities. And I think many lawyers think that they can find work-life balance in practicing law. And really, it just doesn't work that way. Instead, what I focused on and what I suggest other lawyers focus on is priorities. So one of the main points he made in the book was that we should plan our week around our roles. So at that point in time, I was a father, I was a son, I was a husband, I was a brother, I was a, a business developer, I was an active practicing lawyer, I was a mentor, I was a practice group leader. So what I tried to do then was to take my calendar each week and say, what's the most important thing I can do this week? in each of those roles. You, you, you probably know, Colin, that he tells the story about the big rocks and the essence of the story is if you don't put the big rocks in first, they won't fit. And so to me, the priorities are the big rocks and figuring out what those are for you and how you're going to make them work is was helpful for me and I know it's helpful for lawyers that I coach. Absolutely. And moving off that, and the lawyers that you coach, how do you use his teachings when mentoring and coaching young lawyers? Or, you know, how can younger lawyers use his teaching to further their careers and their lives? Still, the thing is that the seven, the seven habits uh, all apply to practicing law. The first habit is to be proactive. And what, what that really means is you're responsible for your career. It's not your firm. It's not your company if you're working for a company. You have to grab and take responsibility. The second one is begin with the end in mind. We need to de decide in concrete terms what do we want out of our career, what do we want out of our personal life. Begin with some end in mind. And that the end is not next week. It's, you know, it's next year, five years from now, ten years from now. The third habit is, uh, you know, do, do things put the first things first and that's what I was talking about before build your life around your priorities you know make sure that the first things the big rocks get in there first now the fourth habit think win-win we can apply that as lawyers both internally within our firm with our clients and even negotiating with an adversary you know once you start negotiating with a win-win approach rather than win-lose it's ever so much easier the, the fifth habit is seek to understand before being understood. We as lawyers need to understand how to ask really great questions and to actively listen to our clients. Too many lawyers I know are so active to explain how smart they are and how they ha handle the case just like that before the client has actually shared the problem. The sixth habit is synergize. When I'm coaching, I love to have a coaching group because they all learn from each other. They're all building something together. You know, it's like any uh, sports team. I know you're act active and interested in sports. The synergizing of the team coming together, those are the teams that win pennants and win World Series and so forth. And then the uh, seventh habit is sharpen the saw. Uh, I love coaching lawyers who have a burning desire to keep learning and getting better. And so sharpening the saw means you're constantly learning, you're constantly trying to become the best lawyer you can possibly be. So it's really easy to apply those seven habits to practicing law. They all fit what we're trying to do as lawyers. Absolutely. Honestly, I just started listening to uh, the seven habits during a long drive over the weekend, and I know uh, one of the things that I was able to take from it that I think applies to, to one of your, one of the things you often say about client development, about making time for it, not finding time for it, is that right. You know, you want to have your choices define your environment. You don't want to have your environment define your choices. And I think that's one of the things that really resonates and something that can speak to uh, a lot of different activities, especially to lawyers. Well, once again, that was Cordell Parvin, 
law firm business development and leadership coach. For more of his insight, be sure to visit his publication. It's excellent. It's at cordellblog.com. And of course, for more LXBN TV interviews, visit us at lxbn.lexblog.com. Thanks, Cordell. Thank you, Colin.